Hey guys, so lockdown. I'm getting through a lot of jobs that I've been meaning to do for absolutely ages and one of them is sorting out my gimbal because I'm just coming to the end of editing my wedding films and I've discovered some problems with uh, the gimbal footage in that everything seems to be kind of one degree off uh, in particular the left dropped down so I have to do a minus one correction sometimes a minus two correction in final cut to all the bits of gimbal footage which gets really really tedious and sometimes I have to crop bits off the edges which I didn't really want to do so it just creates a lot of extra work and if you're having the same problem then we're going to fix it together I've not actually been through this so you can see the exact process and what you're going to do and we're going to figure it out together so First thing I've got is my Zhiyun Weibo Lab with a Sony a7 III and probably my most commonly used uh, gimbal lens at the moment, which is the Zeiss Batis 25 f2, which is a fantastic combination for the Weibo Lab if you've not tried it. It is super light, it's super easy to balance it and yeah I just love it it's such a great perspective being able to shoot shallow depth of field on a wide angle lens is just phenomenal so yeah I really recommend this combination so how do we get it to stop being stupid so first things first is you need to put your uh, camera on the gimbal uh, with a lens on it and you need to balance it now this is fairly well balanced Oop, got a bit of bunny hopping there so yeah, it'll sit flat there, it'll sit flat upright, and that's what you need to get to the point of. Uh, I'll do a balancing thing on another one if you want. Um, uh, this is more about kind of getting everything kind of fine-tuned and, fine and right after you've been shooting with it for a while. Now, Zhiyun naturally recommend that you uh, recalibrate when the temperature changes significantly, like if you go to a hot country. If you haven't used it for a while, which I'm assuming that most people will not be filming a lot at the moment because there's only so much you can film inside your own house. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, if you notice any variation in uh, tilt, which, to be honest, two of those apply to me because I haven't used it properly for a while, um, because I haven't had any weddings for a while, and I have noticed a problem where I've got drop on one side. So this is going to solve two problems at once for me. So... First things first is, I think you turn on the gimbal, and you have to make sure you've got 50% charge in it. I can't see it taking 50% charge to like calibrate it, um, it can't take that long, can it? But I think it must be to do with the, the amount of voltage going to the motors and making sure everything's kind of running on full just to make sure it's calibrating it at the right voltage level or something. So yeah, we'll go with that anyway. We'll listen to them. So the first thing you need to do is download the Zhiyun Play app. It's called a ZY Play on the app uh, store on iPhone. I don't know about anything else because I don't have anything else except an iPhone, but it's called ZY Play. I reckon it'll be the same. So I'm doing a screen recording, never done this before, so hopefully it's working. So I'm going to share you in the screen now so you don't have to look at my face while we do this. Just discovered you have to go in the top menu here and scroll down to your gimbal. Mine is the Weeble Lab. If you're doing this for the Weeble S, I reckon it'll be the same. I'm going to press connect now. Oh, it's come straight up. Now we're in the app. I'm going to go to the side menu here and device calibration. So, six side calibration, I think, is the thing to do. So, right, the first thing we're going to do is going to unscrew the tripod from the bottom. Now, you've got to do this in a very specific order. Hopefully you're going to be able to see this. So, I've got to have the handle pointing towards me and flat there. And then I've got to have the tilt axis motor towards me and lens pointing that way. So you're essentially putting it down. Okay. Ah, so I've got confirmation. Now I'm going to leave all of it in the same position, except I'm going to turn the camera over. Yep. So 
So the camera body side is there, handles in the same position. So I've got the green light, now I need to turn it so the camera is on its back. How do I do that? Uh, oh, like that. Lens pointing forward, top of. Nope, I've done that wrong. That way. So the handle always stays in the same place, and you're just moving that um, around. And then we need to flip it over this motor on the left here. Lens down. And then flip it back to there. Lens forward. And then the last one, resting on the top of the camera lens towards the gimbal. So that's the last one. And there we go, calibration completed. Right, I've just restarted it and I've turned the camera on. I forgot to put the battery in, so sorry for the delay there. Um, and I put the, uh, what's it called? Spirit level. I'm just gonna show you. And there we go, we've got green lines, so that means it is calibrated. Nice shot of my boiler there in the loft. Um, yeah, but it's absolutely green line, absolutely stable. Just gonna pick it up here and move it around. Oh, no. I'm just gonna move it around. And yeah, that is staying absolutely level. So, brilliant. Absolutely happy with that. Fantastic. So there we have it. That was nice and quick and easy. That was actually a lot easier and quicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought there was all going to be some sort of weird steps that you had to do. In the past when I've tried to like calibrate and update firmware on gimbals, it's been an absolute nightmare. So I'm really glad with this generation of gimbal, Zhiyun have given us the tools to be able to do it really quickly and easily. And now I've done it once, I've got the confidence to do it in any situation. Like when we go travelling somewhere and I take the gimbal, if it's somewhere quite a lot hotter than the UK, then I think the first thing I'm going to do is recalibrate and if I sense any kind of shift uh, I'm going to keep checking it with the spirit level as well and if I see any shift in uh, the roll axis um, in post I'm going to calibrate it straight away I might even make it like a monthly thing just to do it I don't think you can over calibrate so yeah this is something which is going to save me tons and tons of time if you're having a problem with this just go for it get the ZY play app just run through the calibration, it is dead easy, it will make a massive difference, it will stop you from tearing your hair out, and give you some more time back to be more creative with it. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video, it's certainly been useful for me, I hope it's been useful for you, so if you've been looking for a solution to this, then here it is. Um, I've got loads more videos coming up, so check out uh, the rest of the videos on my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you guys, see you later.